hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and today's video is about a small sublime editor trick so uh, during the development process uh, you might write some code very often for example i write this line for my debugging process a lot so this line I always use for my debugging process and I have to write this a uh, several time so each and every time I had to write this whole line so instead of uh, writing this whole line uh, sublime has a facility to create a short code for this so what does it mean by short code so for example let me type and from the suggestion I am going to select this so as you can see uh, by selecting one of the suggestion I have this whole line using some particular keyword so that is called short code so I have created a short code for my this line which is AAR print so if I hit enter on this short code it will print this whole line so how you can create this short code for your um, uh, code or lines of code or similar uh, code snippet or something like that so I'm going to show you the process how you can create this short code for your uh, code snippet or whatever purpose you want to use so another code I often use is this this is the loop for WordPress query and I use this query often in my development process so during the development I have to write all this code or copy paste from somewhere else but instead of a uh, copy paste or writing all this code I am going to create a short code for this code snippet so let's jump in so in your sublime editor go to tools developer and click on new snippet so after clicking on new snippet this already this file will have some uh, tags over here so in this tags we have content so in this content tag we have to put our code as it is between this line remove this sample line over here and paste it and save save it to the packages user users folder and give it a name so I'm going to name it WP query dot sublime snippet and I'm going to save this so in this snippet uh, it will not recognize this kind of variable which has dollar so we will put this less over here for each dollar variable otherwise it will give a blank when we call this uh, short code so I'm going to put this uh, slash over here before the dollar so this is only for dollar 
uh, other thing will be fine wherever you are going to use dollar put a slash and after adding your code snippet uh, remove this comment for tab trigger so in this tab trigger uh, create your short code so for so you can create your own short code over here i am going to call this wp query so whenever i will write wp query and hit enter then it will display it will print all this code snippet in my file so i'm going to save this again and i will go to this file i'm going to remove this one and now i will start typing wp q so as soon as i start writing it is showing me in the suggestion this uh, short code so if i click on this short code it will print a whole bunch of code over here so this is how you can create your short code so uh, here we have added this slashes uh, let me show you what if we don't add any slash and save it so check this and we will see the difference so as you can see wherever there are dollar symbol it didn't print anything it prints this into this uh, bracket but not over here so that's why we had a slash over there so let me put all the slashes again and this is also the main step uh, don't forget to remove comment for tab trigger which actual um, creates our short code so this is the video guys um, i hope you learn something new from this video let me know if you have any doubt or question thank you